hello lovely students welcome back to another exciting class today's class will be looking at a very interesting drama text by william shakespeare it's titled a midsummer night's dream a midsummer's night's dream by william shakespeare are you all ready i'm sure you are let's get on with it now Introduction, we're going to introduce the story to you. Midsummer Night's Dream is one of the greatest works of William Shakespeare. It was written in the year 1595. The play was first published in the first polio in 1600. Now, the plot summary. I'm going to give you a summary of what the plot would look like. Look at the plot, look at the table here. Plot 1 is the marriage of Theseus and Hippolyta. Plot 2 is the four Athenian lovers. Plot 3 is the artisan play. And plot 4 is the fairy world where we have Oberon, Titania and Hawk. Now, let us look at the characters. We're going to be looking at the characters in this lovely play. The characters in the play are grouped. So the first set of characters is the fairies. And the first fairy we're going to be having in our list is Puck. Puck is Oberon's jester, a mischievous fairy who delights in playing pranks on mortals. The next fairy is Oberon. Oberon is the king of fairies. And then the next in our list is Titania. Titania is the beautiful queen of the fairies and then we have peace blossom cobweb mote and mustard seed they are the fairies ordered by titania to attend to bottom after she falls in love with him now the next set of characters in the play are the human lovers we now have human we're going to the human world and then the characters that are the human lovers the first one is lysander lysander is in love with hermia Lysander is in love with Hermia. Demetrius is in, was initially in love with Hermia and ultimately in love with Helena. Hermia is a girl's daughter in love with Lysander, a childhood friend of Helena. And then we now have Helena. Helena is in love with Demetrius, to whom she was once engaged, but then was abandoned for Hermia. These are the human lovers in our lovely play and then the next set of characters in the play are the athenians we have egos egos is hermia's father he has given demetrius permission to marry hermia we have the sales the sales is the duke of athens engaged to hippolyta hippolyta is the legendary queen of the amazons who is engaged to the sales and then we have the low street. Philostret is the party planner responsible for organizing the entertainment for Theseus's wedding. These are the characters in our lovely play. Now, our next set of characters are the craftsmen. The craftsmen, we have Nick Bottom, the weaver chosen to play Pyramus in the craftsmen's play. Peter Quince is the carpenter who plays the prologue. And then we have the we have Francis Flute. Bello Mender plays, he plays Thisbe, Thisbe in the craftsman's play. Then we have Robin Starveling, a tailor chosen to play the part of Moonshine. So these are, we now have Tom Snout. Tom Snout is the thinker who ends up playing the part of Wall, dividing the two lovers. And then Snog, Snog is the joiner chosen to play the lion. These are the characters in the play. These are the characters in the play. We first of all have the group of the fairies, we have the human lovers, we have the artists, Athenians, we have the craftsmen. Now, let's go to the plot analysis of this lovely play. Now, in the beginning, we see a very interesting part. Hermia refuses to marry Demetrius. Her father, Egeus, had betrothed her to 
Demetrius and then she refuses to marry him like has refused that nothing on earth will make her marry him and then because of that she escapes into the woods with her lover Lysander so while escaping into the woods with her lover Demetrius runs after them while Helena follows Demetrius because she is in love with him so while Demetrius is running after Lysander and Hermia Helena follows Demetrius that's what we can see and then this is what while they are in the woods we see the fairies we see the fairies Oberon and Titania arguing Oberon and Titania are arguing and Oberon believes that Titania has overstepped her boundaries as the queen of the fairies and he wants to punish her so the only way to punish her he asks for Puck's help he asks Puck's help to tell him to make Titania fall in love with an ugly creature thanks to Puck's magical juice so Puck makes sure that Titania falls in love with a very ugly creature yes and then Oberon orders Puck to pour the juice into Demetrius's eyes they are fairies so they don't believe in humans are beautiful humans are ugly creatures to them so Puck accidentally puts the elixir into Lysander's eyes can you imagine instead of Demetrius so Lysander now falls in love with Helena Lysander was supposed to be in love with Hermia remember the person she was in love with but instead Lysander now falls in love with Helena and then you can now see the four lovers arguing the four lovers are arguing because Helena is surprised that Lysander is in love with her like why should he be in love with her when she's in love with Demetrius Demetrius does as in everything was just entangled and then we now have the artisans going into the woods to rehearse the play Pyramus and Thisbe for Theseus's wedding. Remember, Theseus is, has already engaged Hippolyta, the queen of the Amazons. He was preparing to marry her. So these people wanted to present a lovely play for them during the wedding. So they went into the woods to rehearse. Puck tra now transforms Bottom. Bottom. Puck transforms Bottom's head into one of a donkey. Then Titania now falls in love with Bottom and forgives Oberon. Puck removes the magic from everyone except Demetrius. He removes the magic from everyone except Demetrius. Then we see that the fairies now disappear and Theseus and Hippolyta come into the woods. So when they came into the woods, they, met, they meet the lovers asleep. The four lovers, they meet them asleep and wake them up. So the lovers decided that the night's event should be a dream. Okay, yes, I think everything that happened right now is a dream. It is not real. They now get married, all of them get married, and the artisans perform the play. So guess who got married? Oberon and Titania bless the newlyweds. Hermia ends up marrying Lysander, and Demetrius ends up marrying Helena, as it should have been. And Puck does a solo poem. So, in conclusion, we can see that despite all that happened, love still prevailed in the end. Despite all the engagement and everything, love still prevailed in the end. The sales married Hippolyta, Demetrius marries Helena, while Lysander marries Hermia. Oberon and Titania reconcile and fall in love all over again. Yes. So, We've come to the end of our beautiful and lovely plot summary of the story The Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. The Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. In our next class, we'll be looking at the themes and the style. How did William Shakespeare write this lovely and awesome play? And what is the message he was trying to send out to the general public? Stay tuned for our next class and I'll see you there, same time, same place. For now, it's a bye.